Good Times Entertainment has always made the life of cartoon reviewers like me interesting. And as you watch their cartoons and you wonder just how bland they can get, sometimes they crank the vanilla dial up to 11. And it is such a slog to get through. But then, just when you think it couldn't get any worse, something magical happens. They drop these little nuggets of nonsense that make the whole experience worthwhile. So today we're going to look at one of Good Times co-conspirators, Jetlag Productions. They somehow have the ability to make things look bad even when Good Times movies already look like the worst. So I've bellyached for years and years that companies like Good Times just don't have a creative bone in their body. Most of the stuff that they make is usually just aping off of something that Disney or Don Bluth made because it's easy to rip them off because they're going to make things popular. Whatever. But what happens when they finally have enough gumption to create their own original story? Well, I'm going to find out today. And I'm coming prepared. So... Larry Hartstein is the culprit behind this disaster piece. What else did Lawrence do? Okay. Uh, that's not an improvement. Oh, for the love of fuck! Well, let's see how happy-go-lucky this little rabbit's going to be in Happy, the Littlest Bunny. What a suck-ass title! Man, I don't have high hopes for this shit. Whatever, let's roll it. Well, that was a dumb toss. Hey, it's the bullshit not-so-bullet train featuring Heidi from that delightful slice of misery. This is not the robot carnival reboot I was hoping for. Dear God, please stab his rabbit ass. Ooh, well, right off the bat, we start off with a cynical song. Well, I hope it's better than Wish Upon a Dream from Princess Castle. Are they even trying with this title? My video thumbnails look better. Listen to the wind as it whispers. Look at the clear blue sky. Aye, aye. This song is too cheery for my jaded ass. Animals and people with families too. Mamas watching their babies growing. Exposition singing is apparently a thing now. Brilliant! Brilliant! Look at the clear blue sky, aye, aye, smell the... One day I'm gonna lick my own belly button. And we never see this character again. Thanks, good times! I always can depend on you for filler when Dingo doesn't come through. The days are warm, the nights are cool, and there's not a day goes by that something doesn't happen that makes you sit up and take notice. Yeah, like right now. Who the hell is talking? That road is so crooked a feller can't tell if he's going somewhere or coming back home. Did the narrator overdose on the country boy breakfast at Cracker Barrel? I tell y'all. Sometimes I don't have enough sense to poke acorns down a peckerwood hole. I don't know what the fuck that means, but am I gonna see any little bunnies in this shit show anytime soon? Critters around these parts have such a good life that they got nothing better to do for trouble than to manufacture it out of pure horse feathers. Well, that's why I now sell angel dust to honey badgers. That's good old fashioned fun. Doesn't that look like a nice, sweet family lunch? Where is the beef? Me on this one. There's trouble a brew. Mama, Happy took my napkin. Mine too. Honest, Mama, I didn't do anything. What is with their tattling malfunction? Just kick a scrawny ass. Did not. Did so. Boys, please. <laughs> You're right. It's... It's... Petite. Yeah. Even their bullying sucks. <laughs> I 
Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Now, isn't that just the most pathetic sight you ever did see? Well, I'm glad this movie is self-aware. Having a big heart. If you keep your heart full of love and kindness, it doesn't matter what size your body is. Oh, I want what that bunny is smoking. But if you don't react to their teasing, then you'll be bigger than either of them. In spirit. I'd rather be bigger than them in body. How ironic that Happy is going to become all hateful as a height cell. I'm always being picked on. And not just by my brothers, either. Everybody in the woods is always picking on me, just because I'm so small. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't be because you have a shit personality. It's a mite too early to start storing food for the winter, and the warm afternoons are perfect for playing. Ooh, pause the movie while it looks like they're playing proctologist. Now here comes the fisting. Because it looks like you're not playing with anybody. What do you mean? <laughs> Them? I may be lonely, but I'm not a loser. Then how come you were sitting here watching them like you lost your best friend? You're my best friend and I wish you'd get lost. Damn! See what I was meaning when I said, here comes trouble? That chipmunk is fixing to put a spider in Happy's coffee. Um, two things. Who the fuck says that? And who the fuck does that? What do you want? I, uh, I, I want to play too. You can't play this game. You're too little. Leapfrog was invented before fun because it isn't. Let's go. Come on, Happy. Your turn. Fatality. Let me up! I can't breathe! <laughs> <laughs> Trick. You're the shitty friend who convinced him to get his spleen crushed, you jackass! Maybe you are just a eedy beedy bunny. I am not! I prefer to be called vertically challenged. That chickie's got himself a plan that's slicker than a hound's nose. Can we please get rid of this avian doctor, Phil? Even though he does seem to have better advice so far. The new Evangelion movie doesn't look too good. We're doomed! No, no, you're supposed to gnaw on his leg, you dummy. <laughs> See anything so funny? Yeah, but it wasn't in this cartoon. It doesn't matter how small you are, you'll get respect. Respect? You know, that shit Aretha Franklin sings about. By being the meanest, toughest, rottenest rabbit these woods have ever known, that's how. So he's going to become Stone Cold Steve Austin? Say goodbye to Happy Rabbit, and say hello to the meanest, toughest bunny that'll ever walk these woods, Scrappy Rabbit. Your Ninja Turtle cosplay needs work. He doesn't know that Happy, or Scrappy Rabbit's on the warpath. So he named himself after the worst Scooby-Doo character. Wow, that is diabolical. That's why he went on and got himself a new dog, Elmo. But even Elmo doesn't scare Scrappy Rabbit much. Tickle me Elmo doesn't sound like a good pest deterrent. Come on, the ghost is clear. Oh lord, they're into food porn. Let's eat! Well, apparently Scrappy-Doo wants to have his brothers killed. Maybe this movie's starting to grow on me. I'm the meanest buddy in the woods. Watch. Cripes! This rabbit is a sociopath! Well, 
I am totally behind the idea of a grim, dark, good times movie. I wonder if this is going to become like the animated version of Man of Steel. <laughs> You do realize you're stuck with the dog, right? That bully of a bunny is terrorizing the entire woods. Why, just the other day, him and Chicky came across a family of field mice. Did he bop them on the head? I'm home with more food. Well, would you look at that? Paw, Paw, what'd you bring it? The same shit I bring every day, and maybe five across the face if you keep asking. Your pa is such a good provider, we surely won't go hungry this winter. Go give him a hand, I'll clear a path. I've never understood the logic of cartoon animals with clothes on. I mean, boys end up wearing shirts and then their junk's just all flailing around. Now I have a topless mouse with a skirt on. To hide what? Why? Stay tuned for the next Give It A Shot! <laughs> Who the hell likes candy corn that much? Now Scrappy is just a plain old asshole, all puckered and brown like a chocolate starfish. Well, speak of the devils, here comes Scrappy and Chicky now. I'd best be flying. That bad news bunny and his buddy are up to no good. My cloaca ain't been right since the last time they caught me. Have you ever seen so much food in one place? Yeah, it was five minutes ago, dipshit. You dumb monk. Everybody knows that humans won't eat food that animals have nibbled on. I legitimately think this has become the good times version of Scarface. Oh, I, I get it now. Oh, oh sure. <laughs> oh, let's get started. Right. He's got a lot of crop to destroy. I really hope there's a scene in this movie where Scrappy is face down in a pile of carrot flakes. Oh good! Another exposition song. Good Times is firing on all cylinders now! Yeah, I think Garfield might tell you to slow down at this point. You're telling me, look, a little too close if you ask me. Are you kidding? Huh, <laughs> chicks dig scars. I'm going to be drowning in puss now. Nothing can touch me. You think I've been bad so far? You ain't seen nothing yet. Well, gracious, what's his encore? Does he get a bear to maul the farmer? Scrappy Rabbit is coming to get you, and is he ever ticked off? And that's the bottom line. Well now, Scrappy Rabbit has got all the critters in the woods moving faster than a spider on a hot stove. And my idioms are dumber than an original Good Times movie. Oh wait, that's what this is. And I've seen him running all over Farmer Bellow's farm, scouting things out. He's been busier than a buzzsaw in a pine knot. This here writing is shittier than a pregnant pig with diarrhea. Why, Patch? What are you sorry for? For whatever you want me to be sorry for, just, just leave me alone. Um, does Mama Rabbit know what's going on, or is she just totally oblivious? Because, I don't know, maybe if I was a parent and I saw my kid walking around looking like a shitty version of the Hamburglar, I might say something. Just a thought. I admit, that may have been true before, but this is now. Besides, I can't eat all that food myself. Oh lord, Scrappy turned into a politician. Luscious lettuce, mouth-watering melons, lip-smacking celery? Stop! I, I can't take it anymore. Where is this food? Jesus, crackheads don't even act this bad. It will be rocks and dirt. No more beautiful beets, no more ravishing radishes, no more... Okay, okay. Your plan seems legit, and we're too stupid to think for ourselves. Let's go! Farmer Bellows is harvesting tomorrow. This is our last chance. But what about Elmo? 
Dude, if I can't get you a Tickle Me Elmo, I'll buy you some Juju Pets, okay? I was telling you how Scrappy Rabbit was looking over this garden the way a blue jay looks over an earthworm. Or how a three-legged dog can't scratch its belly. What are you doing? Get back over here! See? Scrappy, get over here! Maybe Scrappy's just an adrenaline junkie and all of this stuff is just overblown. I can kind of understand that. The look in Scrappy's eye, he is definitely up to something. And five will get you ten. That something's not a good thing. Oh shit, now he really is going to murder his brothers. Oh, I'm so bad, I'm good. You know, I fling myself down flights of stairs for fun. But even I'm not as batshit insane as Scrappy here. Oh, you guys are gonna scream! You kill me! I swear this is my best one yet! Scrappy, look out! Oh, come on! You don't think you can fool me with that old chestnut, do you? Yeah! Oh, shit! The dog is doing more damage to the crops than the varmints! Gotcha! <laughs> Almost made it through the review without an early credits joke. I tried. Mama! Mama! Mama just killed my bros. Went to eat some cabbage head. Now they're both as good as dead. Well, well, well. Things have gotten a little out of hand for Scrappy Rabbit. Oh, you think so, Dr. Phil Featherbrain? Mama, Mama! Happy, uh, I mean Scrappy. What is it? What's happened? Oh, dear God, you condone this behavior. You suck as a mother, lady. Mama Rabbit is listening patiently enough. You can practically hear her brain a-working out a plan to rescue her other boys. And block the traffic? Yeah, we will when it gets... Scrappy, I'll deal with you and your awful prank later on. Right now, we've got to save your brothers. Is she about to turn into Sarah Connor? Everything will work out fine. You will? Well, I hope it will. Now let's hurry and gather the others. We have a lot to do. You know, she seems pretty calm for someone who's about to lose two of her children. Or has this happened before? We were always teasing Scrappy about being the Littles Bunny. Maybe if we'd been nicer to him, he wouldn't have done this to us. Bitch, are you for real? So, do you all understand? Apparently, Mama Bunny heads the forest militia. So much noise that Farmer Bellows will come out of his house to see what's going on. And then, when the door opens, we'll run inside and find a way to free Moosey and Patch. Now, have you got that? I have so many questions about how animals talk in this universe. But there's not enough time in the movie to discuss that at this point. I'm glad we now have a Good Times version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Shh! Shh! Nobody said anything! Well, I'll be. I wonder what I did with my nipple clamps. What should we do? Well, ma'am, I, I couldn't say, rightly. What you got here is a situation that's tougher than shinning up a thorn tree with an armload of wheels. What? I legitimately have no idea what the fuck you just said. And it's kind of surprising considering you've just doled out all this wisdom throughout the movie. And at this point, you're like, well, fuck, I don't know. Plus, didn't Mama Bunny have a plan already? Malcolm, just sound the alarm, will you? Oh, now that's a right good idea, ma'am. Just 
do it! Just do it! He's bringing them with him. Now what are we gonna do? Hold a good thought, Scrappy. Hold a very good thought. Well, we're all far past fucked. It's nice knowing you. Especially since we've done nothing and we're all out of ideas. Why are they running? What happened to the plan? What is actually going on? God damn it. for comedy. <laughs> These are the last vegetables you'll ever steal from my garden, you little thieves. Oh, shit! <laughs> there. Maybe if I leave you some food, you'll stop raiding my garden. Tell your friends I'll bring fresh vegetables out here for all of you every day until the harvest is over. And on into winter, too. No! No! What the fuck kind of ending is this? God damn it! Let's find out what happens! What happened? Oh, this is some premium bullshit right here! A miracle? Not really. Just a kind human who has no reason to hurt us. Fuck you! You are going to have some very serious consequences to your actions, young bunny. Yes, ma'am. I kind of figured as much. In fact, I'm going to borrow the farmer's knife right now. You have to pay back the field mice every morsel you stole from them and then some. Yes, ma'am. We will. And you're going to have to stop stealing from Farmer Bellow's garden. Okay, two more things. One... If you knew he was doing this shit to the field mice, why didn't you do anything then? Two! You don't have to worry about him stealing from Farmer Fucknut anymore because the dipshit is going to give you daily tribute so that you don't go back into the goddamn garden. Woman, you are failing miserably as a mother and I should call children services! Will you start calling me Happy Rabbit again? Well, well, it looks like the littlest bunny is finally growing up. Fatality. So quiet again, you could hear a cricket clear its throat. <laughs> and we end this shit fest with a montage of characters we know nothing about. Don't forget to pat out the last two minutes with a terrible song. Well done, good times. You know... Up until the last five minutes of this film, I was just going to chalk this up as another Good Times Vanilla Disaster piece. But then, just as you think it's over, Larry comes bursting through like the Kool-Aid Man through your wall. Because you know you want fiberglass and wood chips and nails in your drink. It's good for the throat. And has successfully written himself into a corner. And he's like... Gee, how do I end this? I know. I'll make the worst possible ending where nobody learns a damn thing, there's practically no consequences for anybody's actions, and the farmer is a dipshit. Jesus Christ! This is grade A shit, Larry! If you have an Instagram, I want to fucking follow it because I'm here for this ride. Wow! Now if you'll excuse me, I have a happy thought brewing in my bowels, just waiting to burst out. I gotta make it happen. Ooh.
Oh, I feel the happy thought of coming now! Fucking brilliant! Way to go, Larry! I gotta follow more of your work! No, honestly, I should. Hell, if you're on Twitter or fucking Instagram, I'm definitely joining you, dude. I'm there for this ride. This is some fucking wild shit! Okay, I need to get <coughs> some water. <coughs> Acting up. <coughs> I haven't even started yelling yet. Yeah. <sighs>